What is up guys, it's Soulbash. Welcome back to some more Mobile Legends. Today we are getting a new legend. All right, we're gonna jump into the shop, go to Legends. We don't have very many left, but today I want to buy Duke. Duke is a really fast legend. He's good for survival, magic, and physical. And we're gonna buy him. He's only 439 crystals right now. So that's going to let us get almost one of our last legends that we can buy from the shop which is Duke he does have a pretty cool skin as well so let's jump right into an AI match and we're going to get this started all right and let's find Duke right here and let's take a look at his abilities his first one is the electric boogie connects an electric circuit to an enemy legend while the circuit is active your your attack continuously increases that's really interesting Tesla Coil creates an electric field which expands and contracts dealing damage to all enemies within range. That one's really nice. It's really big. Wild Style, you know, passive that increases movement speed. And Ride the Lightning is his ultimate. It releases multiple bursts of electricity over a given time interval which deals magic damage to surrounding enemies. That's pretty cool. You jump in a 3v3 fight, pop that, and it's just going to do massive damage to everybody around him and it's magical. So we're gonna go with the uh, teleport perk, which that's what we normally run with. And let's jump right into this. All right, so first off, let's take a look. Electric Boogie, once the circuit's open, increases physical attack by seven. And then Tesla Coil creates electric field. Now this is what I would go with to begin with in a regular match, uh, because it's just gonna do, I'll show you, it's gonna do that right there. That's a really wide array of attack. You catch anyone in or around you. And it goes out a pretty good ways. I have heard that the further out that it hits you, the more damage that it does, but I cannot confirm that. Uh, for the next one, let's go ahead and pick up this, which is the electric boogie. That's the uh, circuit. When it's open, it increases. And the wild style, it increases movement speed by 6%. Directional skills used against you reflect 40% damage to the caster. Now that's interesting. I didn't know that. Now that's cool. That's how wide that attack is right there. And, uh, we don't really have anybody out here. The good thing is he's arranged. Even though he is on a horse, on a mount, he's a ranged character, and you're able to push really hard with him because he's got just so much attack that he can do. Now, as far as jungle, I'm not sure how well he's gonna fare in the jungle yet. I believe this is probably my first time playing him, and the recommended build, first one's Demon Shield, hit points, regen, and HP regen. And uh, that normal attacks causes the reduction damage. I believe it's 30% for the base one. Let's go ahead and use this. It really didn't do a whole lot of damage to the beginning levels. And let's go ahead and hit this guy a couple times and we'll pick up this regen. And then we'll drop bottom because bottom is being pushed by Bria. Now let's pick up that movement speed. Now, I don't know if it's gonna build movement speed in with it considering, you know, it's uh, already got a pretty good bit of movement speed. And Bria is going to get run down right here because my ultimate's going off as well. If you can see the ultimate, it goes off every two point, what, five seconds? 2.4 seconds, yeah. So about two and a half seconds, your ultimate goes off. And what that is, is the actual lightning that you see coming just out of you. And let me get around some minions and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about with that. Right here, get close enough. I'm just going to stand here. You see that it's automatically uh, doing damage to the lightning that's coming out. That's his ultimate. So that's pretty cool. Goes off every two and a half seconds. Pretty nice extra amount of damage that it does. And that's how Duke's able to just stay in and burst you so much. Uh, let's get in here, see if we can't take some damage out on these. Way's got me caught up, but I'm gonna teleport out of his ability. If you remember, we did get Way the other day. And that's the only way to get out of that is to basically teleport out of it or wait until it's gone. Now don't stay in there too long, Ember, and get killed. Now that's starting to do a decent amount of damage as well. Ooh, we got way caught. Nice. All right, we're going to get a little push on the tower. Movement speed is in the recommended build. So that's going to make him even faster. And he's already fast. Duke is probably one of the hardest legends to catch. Uh, that's with Pyrex. Pyrex is able to keep up with him a good bit. Uh, Striker only because of his ability to ride that little surfboard. And let's see if we can't link up get some extra damage I really haven't ever used this guy so it's kind of interesting to see can we get him with that yes we did I love that ability because the reach is so far 
And since we're such low health, let's hit the bush and let's go back and heal all the way up. All right, we're back. So let's actually swoop through the jungle. Let's take some stuff out. Um, since he does use a good bit of mana, I'm not going to really use anything to kill these minions because they die fairly quick to begin with. Let's increase that movement speed. I want to be able to run people down. And let's go in here, jump in the middle of a battle. Bria, how are you doing? Let's get that link. And let's see if we can't run her down. Now, she does have an ability that gives her that dodge and movement speed, but I'm going to teleport on top of her. And I have caught myself doing that a lot more lately. Instead of saving that teleport as an out, use it for a kill. Uh, we'll take that right there. Well, now we'll take that. And let's jump over here and kill this guy. You see, that, 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 that doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. Now, the Royal Crown... That's really interesting because if you level that up, it takes it up to a, the next level ultimate. And Bria is back again. And I have no out. So, oh, 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 can we get the speed? All right, we might be able to save this with that speed buff. Ultimate leveled up in the middle of it. She's going to try to get out. She's got her dodge stuff on, and we still got her anyway. Nice. Evelyn with a kill up top. Let's swoop up top, see what we can't do. Taking Evelyn out. And let's go ahead and push on this tower. We got a double kill right there. And looks like he can take minions out fairly quick. I mean, he's only level 8 right now. And let's link up. See if... We, oh, oh, we got caught. Get out of there. Get out of there. Bria, please do not. Thank you. And let's go back. All right, five minutes in. Boss just spawned. Phoenix Blade's the next item on the list. And let's just go ahead and push this bottom lane. Yeah, you're able to kill stuff pretty fast once you level up. Uh, just went through those minions pretty quick and those have a good bit more than these guys and let's not even gonna use any skills see how fast we can actually do them not as fast as some but now we're max movement speed for the uh, uh, the buff that you have that's a passive and I wonder what's only last for the recommended recommended it's gonna be frost lance and that's gonna be slowing people down and that's gonna help you out all right and let's see if we can actually get her again no, we wasn't able to, so let's stay out of range of the tower. Keep attacking. And... Ah, she stunned me. Okay. Well, we got enough right here. We could probably kill this tower. Three minions. Yes, we do. So that's going to help out a good bit. Swoo back through, pick up a regen. And look how fast this guy moves. It's just incredible at how fast you can get around with this guy. And going through these guys goes pretty quick. Evelyn, what you got? 2v2 right here. Evelyn's trying to run the whole time. Okay, he did use his ability. I'm stuck inside of it, so I can't run him down. All right, we got some minions here now. Let's go ahead and try to take this out. Duke, he's a really good legend. Uh, he's got a lot of attacks that just let you do so much area damage. And if, I, if you did a little bit of life still on it, maybe he would be, you know, pretty decent. Uh, so let's go ahead and level that up. And if we get another chance to level up again, we will go with the fourth level ultimate and I'll see how much damage it does compared to the uh, third level, which we'll get the third level at level 12. You want to try this again? Come on, Bria. I'm low health. I don't care. We got level 12 right there on you. Am I going to run you down? Nope. All right. So let's go back out. Let's uh, kill some of this stuff. We're not going to really heal up, but we're going to be able to see what this fourth level ulti is. We need 3,000 gold to get this, so we're just going to kill enough stuff to be able to get it before the match is over with. Really good jungler. Pretty much able to two-shot the small stuff, three-shot the bigger stuff right there, and that's only at level 12. So getting close to late game. Regen, we'll go ahead and take that. And we're less than a thousand away from getting that fourth level ulti. So let's take a look while we're killing this. All right, this does 150 damage to surrounding enemies, multiple bursts. All right, so that's 150 currently. And once we level this up, and we got about 300 gold to go, we're gonna get it right here. And here we go. So let's go ahead, go in here. We're not gonna grab that. We're gonna grab the Royal Crown. It's gonna increase the ultimate skill by one level. And let's see what it gives him. 195 damage every 2.6 seconds. So that's not too terribly bad. And 
I mean, every two and a half seconds is doing 195 damage. That's like having a, another attack just right there, ready to go. You're able to come in, clean up, and let's just make a push on this tower. We're insane. Let's go. Can we catch Evelyn before she gets back? Yes, we can. Double kill. And we got way back out. Oh, we didn't get him. All right, so let's keep pushing on this. Get somebody linked up. We are pushing a little hard right there. Let's actually get out. I'm not going to chance dying. We're 15 to 1, so there's no point in chance in dying that much. Uh, so just go ahead and go back and heal up, and we'll come back and finish this match off if they don't already have it done before we're back. Not really worried about healing all the way up. I'm just worried about getting back in here. That way we can take out this bottom tower. Take out the bottom, it'll kind of throw them off. Um, I guess we can kill this stuff while we're swooping through. And as you can see, nothing really got built into a whole lot of attack on him. I mean, you get a little bit of attack from your uh, the thunder, thunder hammer, yeah, and you get some from the crosses, the uh, swords. I, I don't know why I can't recall this stuff. I guess I've just been playing too long today already recording. And let's see, we got Bria right here trying to contest. We've out leveled him a pretty good bit. Catch him with that ability. Oh, she dodged it. Okay, so. Let's wait on some minions. Here they come, and here comes the tower. It's gonna die. Help kill the minions off. See, that ultimate helps big time with that. Uh oh, we're caught in the tower. All right, Bria, what you got? We're only five levels ahead of you, so this should be fairly easy. And up, oh, she dodged again. I didn't want a chance teleporting in on her. Uh, here's a hill right here. We'll go ahead and kill this guy. I see Evelyn up top with Ember. Looks like they just had one of us go back. And all right, the minions are back on the bottom. So let's go back down here and let's help take out some of these. Ember on a rampage. And let's get these guys dead. And all right, I don't want to tank the tower. You can tank the tower. Here we go. Bria, you're still trying to keep this bottom off, but uh, you're going to stun me. So super minions are about to be incoming. I don't think anybody's gonna come contest this. Bria, yeah, you're too late. She just came back in here and stunned me. That's all she did. I'm linked up to her now though. Am I gonna be able to get her before she gets back? Yes, we did. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this off. We got enough minions there. And guys, that is Duke. We made it to level 16. He's got a pretty good amount of damage that he can put out. He's always got constant damage coming from that ultimate. If you go fourth level, it does 45 more damage than the third level. So that is an option for a build if you want to go with that. But if you have any questions about Duke or if you have any recommendations for a custom build for him, leave them in the comments below and I'll try it out in another video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Like I said, any questions, leave them in the comments. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soul Bash. You guys have a nice day.